Hey there everybody, welcome back to the Four Strings Drummer, the channel that's all about ukuleles. Today we're going to take a look at the Enya Nova Mini. So this is one of their soprano sized instruments. And I did a review on one of these a while back, maybe about a year ago, on the concert size. <clears throat> this instrument came up on uh, Amazon on a great deal. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy another one and just see what they've done, what they've changed, how different is the soprano, and does it match up to what the concert was like. So, right out of the gate, um, the cool thing with these instruments is that they're made of plastic, basically. They say that there's carbon fiber in there. I don't know what the carbon fiber content is. It's kind of like when you buy that orange juice and it says made with 10% real oranges, so... I don't know what the other 90% is, but whatever. Anyway, still tastes good. So, um, But they do use carbon fiber in these, and um, there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with it being plastic. To me, it's just a different building material, and if it sounds good, it works well, and you know what? You're saving trees. There's a positive story to be, to be told there, right? So um, apart from that, the, the styling on these, I think, is really cool. And it's just something that's a little bit different, you know, than your sort of standard looking thing that we've got behind us here. <clears throat> and uh, and that's, that's great. Let's take a look at the overall. So overall, this one is about a 13 inch scale length, which is a standard soprano. Um, the fretboard itself, like the rest of the instrument, is plastic. Um, and so are the frets. So if there's one little thing that I would say that I'm not uh, really thrilled about it's the fact that the frets when they put them they're molded in place uh, they're black the same as the black fretboard and they're kind of difficult to see and I'm not sure if it's just because I'm getting older and my eyes aren't as good as they used to be but I find without the contrast of the silver against the dark uh, fretboard they're a little bit more difficult to see when you're moving around the fretboard having said that uh, they do have uh, fret position markers here at the 5th, the 7th, the 10th, and the 12th. And one of the things that they've added on, I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it here or not, but they've got, come on, focus, focus, uh, fret position markers on the side here as well. They've put the little uh, side dots on these as well, where they didn't have that on the concert one. They, they may have updated them now and changed that because I know that some people mentioned that as something that they could do. Um, okay, so we've got a 35 mil nut width, which is fairly standard for this type of an instrument and uh, for soprano. Moving further up, it's got a neat shape to the headstock, not, again, not traditional looking, right? Just kind of a asymmetrical swoopy design, which I think looks nice. Um, the other thing that I like is the way they've got the logo on the headstock. It's not laser etched in. It's plastic, so I guess it would just melt if they tried to do that, but um, I like that. To me, that looks kind of classy, and I um, don't really have anything against laser etching. It's just, to me, kind of looks a little bit cheap um, when you look compared to something that's a decal or something that's painted or obviously inlaid in. Inlay would be more expensive, of course, to produce. Um, you've got gold-colored tuning pegs on here, which look nice. And they're matching on the back, of course, with open back tuners, which work very nice and smoothly. It's um, sort of a C, sort of a profile to the neck, um, rather than a, than a flatter sort of a U shape. That's, again, that's not right or wrong. That's just the way it is. Some people prefer a flatter profile. I don't find this... Uh, offensive to play or anything. It's uh, it's fairly comfortable. It's nice and smooth, the finish that they've put on this. It's not glossy, it's not sticky. You can move your hand up and down the, the fretboard with ease. It doesn't kind of get caught anywhere, which is great. The other nice thing, uh, getting back to the frets and the fingerboard, is that with the molded plastic, there's no sharp fret ends, ever. So that to me is great. So it doesn't matter if you live someplace super dry like you know, Alberta or you're out on the Pacific West Coast where, you know, it's probably a more sort of a humid, uh, damp environment. It doesn't matter. If that changes at all, you never have to worry about your frets sticking out and, and uh, grabbing the ends of your fingers here. So, so that's pretty nice. Um, 
Again, just back to the look of the instrument. I like what they've done with the sound hole. It's just kind of a cool looking design. Uh, they've put the um, the bridge, I think, could be could be black, and that might look cool. That might change it. But, you know, that's a personal preference thing. It's got a compensated uh, saddle as well, which is, which is a nice little added bonus. Helps with your intonation, uh, which on this is very good. Um, no intonation issues. You've got strap buttons already included and installed for you. And they're gold colored to match the tuners, which kind of blings it up a little bit. Kind of nice. It's a thin bodied instrument as well. So for traveling, um, you know, if you're camping, whatever, taking it in the car with you anywhere, it's great. Nice and small. Great to take off to uh, whatever, the open mic or any little gigs or uh, like I said, if you're going camping or something. Ultra small, which is uh, very handy, right? Got a cutaway here if you want to get a little bit further up the fretboard and play. Um, I'm not sure how many people go way up here to play, um, but, you know, whatever. Some people do, and that's great, but to be honest, it just looks cool too, right? And I think that's why a lot of people buy them, because they look cool. All righty. Let's take a look here some more at the bridge. So the other thing that they've got here is a slotted bridge basically so it makes it nice and easy for changing the strings all you have to do is tie a little knot in the end of the string you drop it into that little hole and you pull it tight into the slot wind it up here on the um, tuning peg and you're good to go so there's no fancy knots or anything that you have to learn how to do again none of them are too difficult once you've done it a few times but um, again this is just the simplest version I think and, and works really well. Let's take a little look at what comes in the package because they do put a nice kit together. All right. Okay, so in the kit, woo, you get a capo, color matched to the instrument. You get a strap, a ukulele strap, which is color matched to the instrument. And I say ukulele strap because there are companies out there that send out these great big honking straps and it's a pet peeve of mine I know but they send out a strap that's about four inches wide that looks like it came off somebody's you know d28 dreadnought or something and to me it they just look ridiculous uh, and it's sort of laziness I think on the part of the manufacturer when they do that because they sell guitars as well or banjos or something and um, anyway these are sized appropriately for a ukulele and it looks nice, right? Again, you get a white instrument, you get a white strap, black instrument, black strap, etc., etc. You also get an extra set of strings, handy. And you get a nice little gig bag. Now, the gig bag on this one is different from the concert that I had. And I'm not sure if that's a difference between the concert and the soprano, or if they've just updated this in the last year or so. Um, this one is more of just like a soft padded gig bag where the other one that I had was sort of um, sort of a semi-hard foam that they used uh, rather than a softer foam. Doesn't matter. The other one was good. This one is also very good. It's got nice uh, sort of chromed little zipper pulls here. Work the way around. Inside is the packaging that it came in, but it's just you know, basically a open little case. There's no pocket inside, which is fine because there's one on the outside here. And uh, it would be fine to take your capo, stick your extra strings in there as well, possibly even the strap if you didn't want to use it all the time. Put that in there. It's got a handle here to carry with your hand and it's got a shoulder strap as well. So again, you're off to a gig, you're going to your local uh, ukulele group you can just throw it over your shoulder off you go the kids are taking it to school when they get to school they can hang it up in their locker just uh, yeah I think it's really nice it's it's well made looks let's try a little sound sample one of the things that it also is different on this instrument versus the concert sized one is there's no side sound port here on the concert it's got a little hole here and that directs sound sort of back up towards the uh, to the player so let's give this a try. Pretty nice sustain on this. Listen to that. 
Not bad. So when you talk about wood versus plastic, etc., to me it all comes down to what does the instrument sound like? Because that's what's important, right? Um, and when you hear that sustain, the volume is decent on this as well for a soprano. It's a small soundboard. Let's play a couple of little tunes here and see how it goes. Pretty nice. Okay, let's try another tune here. Also pretty good, right? So nice for the soft stuff, kind of the medium stuff. Let's push it a little bit more. Also pretty good I would say this is probably better suited to some of the softer maybe finger picking or uh, lighter strumming not the heavier playing like that um, I mean it works I just think that it you know it doesn't have that boom that you know some other instruments would have and that partly is because of the size of the instrument too right soprano I'd say overall folks this is a pretty darn good buy it was 40 um, 59.99 Canadian um, which is about, whatever, $45 US, I guess, something like that. And there was a $10 off coupon. So it was $49.99 Canadian by the time I was done, which is about 40 bucks Canadian, probably a little less than that in pounds. And I'm amazed at what companies can put out now that are good quality instruments that you could learn on, that you could play not just as a learner but as an intermediate player as well still be very happy with it good quality sound um in a, in a good package overall i would say if you're looking for a an option for yourself in the soprano size or you're thinking about the kids you want to get something a little bit more stylish than a, than a more traditional looking ukulele something like this would be a really good way to go all right any questions, any comments, just drop them into the comment section. As always, I'm more than happy to help you out. And until we see you next time, keep smiling, keep strumming, and have fun. Bye for now.